Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Lost in Translation One. This time we're covering Digimon Ghost Game episode 34, Wall Crawlers. I'm May and I'm joined by the lovely Quinn. Hi. And of course the equally lovely Chloe. Hello. So a quick synopsis before we jump into it. So this episode has some pretty gross visuals of a lizard kind of drooling or dropping some liquid into sleeping people's mouths, which is really, really gross. And uh, mm-hmm. turning them into gecko human hybrids. These hybrids end up stealing diamonds, so things with diamonds in them, like mainly rings, and then uh, kind of grossly vomiting them up. And a salamandermon eats them to become more beautiful, uh, kind of like how we had Splashmon becoming more beautiful by feeding on humans. This is becoming more beautiful, feeding on diamonds. So, so... similar, but not as violent somehow. I was under the impression that this was more like a, a power up than a beautification thing, but maybe I just misread or misunderstood. I think it might be both because I think the Salamander oh, said yeah, that, that okay. it was yeah, getting that more beautiful. Sounds right. Yeah, okay. But I think it was all I think it, I think it was both power and being beautiful. Yeah, it which, burns hotter and that, that is beautiful or whatever, yeah. Yeah. What goals, honestly? Yeah. Yeah. Not not. Yeah. So uh, then we have Ruri becoming a lizard person because the, the <sighs> plot decided that she should become yep. a lizard person. Mm-hmm. And then basically the kids try to beat Salamandamon, end up having to do science to defeat Salamandamon, and then because we can't kill Digimon apparently this time, Salamandamon says, oh, but I still would like to eat things. And Hero's like, well, I will feed you pencils instead. And Salamander was like... I'm pretty sure all the teachers in primary school told me not to do that, but I guess I will eat them anyway. It was a whole thing when I was in primary school where teachers were constantly telling us not to eat pencils or to draw on them on our skin because lead poisoning, even though that... Uh, anyway. Yeah, mm. I know, but they were saying it was lead because it was lead pencils and... Uh, even were they no actually... Lead... Okay, yeah, they weren't actually lead pencils, they just thought they were. Oh, no, the they weren't actually... The teachers just lead... thought so. Yeah. Yeah, and also I guess they just didn't want us to eat and write with... <sighs> That is more likely. I don't know. Uh Yeah. But to be fair, don't eat pencils and don't... It's probably not great for you, although I imagine it would probably just, you know, pass as long as you didn't poke through something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not the worst thing that you can eat, but just don't eat... Like, yeah, I think being in primary school is all about learning what you can and can't eat. There's a depressing number of episodes whose summary could probably be summed up as, you know, this week this Digimon learns that you can and cannot eat people. Mm -hmm. Mm, Have you tried drinking tea with a bunch of Digimon instead of eating humans? Hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Huh. Have you tried eating pencil lead instead of diamonds? I've not ever considered eating pencil lead instead of diamonds, no. I can't say I have either. I'm I'm waiting for my low lights to really unload on this one, so let's move along. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's move along. Now that we're done discussing the synopsis and what we can't, can and can't eat, <laughs> because Quinn wants to move on to lowlights, we'll go through highlights very quickly. So what are our No, highlights? no, that's fine. I just, before I talk about, you know, the diamond thing, let's get to lowlights. Mm-hmm. I thought you would have some science things to say, some science <laughs> words of wisdom oh my, for this week's yeah. oh, science lesson. Oh, very much so, yes, yeah. Okay, but I guess first, uh, highlights, mm-hmm. I kind of, it wasn't something that was really mentioned much, but the idea that that this gecko human gremlin child has like clearly attacked her parents yeah and caused like damage and injured her her father like her father was like mm-hmm. covered in like scratches and wounds and had bandages and band-aids yeah. and his shirt was all torn and <laughs> she dirty, ripped which, every like, single one of his shirts apparently. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which begs the question like he had enough time to to shower put bandages and change on. things yeah mm-hmm. But yeah, he was still covered in dirt and like a ripped up shirt. Like I don't know, was it we had how to make recent it obvious, was this? You know? Yeah, and yeah. you know, I honestly applaud them for for doing a show and not tell on. Nobody actually said anything about it, and they didn't feel the need to show us on screen. It just clearly happened, and and you know, good for them mm-hmm. a little bit. Oh yeah, it's once in like, a while. I I liked it. it. Was kind of like a you know these these human hi- gecko hybrids are clearly not good, and they're really press- pressing that with saying, "Hey, uh, this girl is, uh, seems to have assaulted her father," and mm. it's definitely implied that they don't. Yeah, they don't say it, but they definitely 
tell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked that it was a, a it was kind of a body horror episode, and that mm. was surprisingly not bad. I'm not really much. Well, I don't know. I've watched Ava. I don't know if I can say I'm not much yeah. of one for body horror, honestly. It was very wet, this episode. There was a lot of imagery of liquid <laughs> yeah. being yeah. gross. Yeah. I don't oh, I did find a way to moist. slip in an Ava reference today. Okay. No, you did. Good you, job. But not from the episode itself. Not from the episode itself. I have a very good joke that for, for I'll the next save time for a better there's a real time. Ava, yeah. Uh, honestly, nice to do a little Kafka as a treat with uh, some Metamorphosis vibes in the, the first third of you know the part of the episode I really liked. Uh-huh. Mm. Child just unexpectedly becomes, you know, a little critter, uh-huh. and is just kind of doing little critter things, and you try to hide them in their room. Yeah, yeah, just becomes a massive, you know, burden on the family without intending to be, mm. and just not nearly as gross as Gregor Samsa. Yeah, so. yeah, and you know, she gets to go back to being a real girl. Huzzah! That's exciting. Hey, it you know was a big deal for me. <laughs> I I liked Gamamon liking geckos. That was very cute. And I liked yeah. the sort of hero saying, geckos are here to protect us. Anyway. And then <laughs> the, the immediately like cuts to like geckos are the actually gecko good, gremlin. By the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who has assaulted her father. So yeah, geckos are here to protect us, except for that guy. Maybe not him. Though I guess maybe that was he more salamanders. He didn't know that because... you can't... Notably... It... <sighs> You can eat diamonds, my G. You can't turn people into geckos. I feel like one of those things was higher priority for them to tell us. Yeah. Yeah, that's a point. Like, it was it was more like, hey, don't steal things, not, hey, don't turn people into geckos. Like, the more th- I feel like the moral of the story could have, should have been both. Like, may- maybe don't steal things, but also I feel like the, the turning humans into geckos is probably also not a cool thing to do. That's okay. Everyone will forget by next week anyways. Yeah. Um, let's, yeah. let's maybe officially move into lowlights unless you have more highlights. Yep, let's, I'm, I'm good with highlights. What about you, Chloe? That's all we've got, yeah. Okay, lowlight time. Let's, let's go science time. All Take right, it away, so, friend. yes, diamonds are made of carbon, but, but... You know what else is made of carbon? Coal, charcoal, wood, gasoline, butter, people. Everything? Yeah, the wood part of the pencil. Many, many, many things. I mean, you've got to applaud them for not doing vor this week. (laughs) They did somehow avoid doing vor. I just... uh, Give me, like... If if he just wanted to become pretty, or, I don't know, he's a demon and therefore diamonds make him more powerful, whatever, but don't, don't really tell me that, thank you, mm-hmm. uh, don't insist to me that, that he needs to burn diamonds or anything else made of carbon. Uh, oh, y- y'all, y'all, g- g- guess what? Mm. Diamonds are Amon's best friend. <sighs> I just thought of that and had to make sure uh, both of y'all would also know of it. So, so please continue. Salamandramon knew that diamonds are made of carbon, but did not know that anything else was made of carbon. Yes. Yep. Cool. Like there was no re like just steal some lumps of coal. No one's gonna you know write news articles about lumps of coal being stolen. But you know, Nor having you many many jewelry stores children. robbed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's something you could just sneak into an abandoned or not even abandoned, just like you know, not just actively a attended, store. like or even you know, just like a, a train depot in the middle of the night. <laughs> there are so many better ways to do this. <sighs> Um, um, one that it seemed like a bit of a stretch for Hero to recognize what's her bucket lizard girl from the split second that he saw her in, uh, in their room earlier on in the episode, like in gecko form. Yeah, while eyes Maybe bulging out of her head after not seeing her for years. No, I feel, feel like this is the receptionist as well, isn't it? Like she looks huh? a lot like the receptionist and the girl from the the la- the l- previous o- uh, ending animation that we had. Like I'm pretty sure receptionist, that's just- but like he had to look at his elementary school graduation pictures. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I thought it was. The I receptionist don't think until it's her. That shot. But they have that. They look this like either either the character designer uh, in charge d- isn't very good at drawing different characters, or she looks <laughs> identical to that character with the ponytail. I mean- I'm not sure that the character designer can design more than one woman. That is true. They all do look like Ruri with various hairstyles. Mm-hmm. 
<sighs> they all have Disney face. Yeah. Mm. I think we already mentioned how it. Uh, we know we're looking forward to seeing how next week no one will remember the time that everyone became geckos and did a, a, a jewel heist. And then had amnesia, but also their parents were still roughed up. Mm-hmm. Um, all the time, all the, the weed monsters come out of your phone. Yeah. Yep. Also, like, did, that should have been a big thing. Did, did girls' parents not know that ambulances exist? Oh yeah, I should have wrote, written that one down. Cause yeah, that's, they were like, good point. she wouldn't let us take her to the hospital. I was like, okay, well, you're telling me that there's no way you could get someone to come here. And it's you know, been pick a her week. Up. You didn't, you didn't ask anyone for help. Mm-hmm. And then we get to the anonymous tip. Yeah. Oh, I felt so bad for Kiyoshiro in this episode. He kept on trying to help. Um, he was trying way worse than he normally does, though. Yeah, like, he just needed to remind everyone how smart he is while actively failing to do anything smart. Especially, and I mean, I know it ended up being a plot point that, you know, because initially I was like, why would you leave an anonymous tip in this case? They're just going to ignore that, especially with all the jewel thievery going on. They're probably going to think that it's somehow tied to it. Uh, and, you know, sure enough, they did ignore it. But then also... Kiyoshiro, my dude, you should have seen that coming from a mile away. Why do an anonymous tip if you're, you know, involved, involved in, the, in the process? You know, you have a vested interest in making sure things go well. You Just can... tell them, oh, hey, I'm worried about this. And then they might take it seriously. Yeah, hey, there's been this rash of jewel thefts, all of them stealing diamonds. I would, if it were me, swap them out for glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently they think he's smart enough to, you know, design this system or whatever, but not smart enough to, Design you know... the something or other. The design the X, yeah. But, you know, no, apparently Kiyoshiro thinks that that's, this is advice uh, that is better coming from just some rando. Mm. Yeah. And then also, I just don't really like that we ended up doing another, oh, you know, now that you've beat me, I'm so super sorry. I pinky promised that I'm good now, so you can, you can trust me, right? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, okay, well, what if I magic uh, toss in magically fixing everyone else, too? Are we cool then? Uh, okay, cool. And, you know, the end. Yep. Still stole many thousands of dollars worth of blood diamonds. Mm. Um, also, no, no, no even slapping on the wrist for making an army of child slaves. Also, Angoromon, my G, you let Ruri go to sleep alone in a room, then said, huh, I really shouldn't have done that. Why did you yeah, do that? yeah, you should. What was the point in staying over at Hero's house if, if you're just you're... gonna leave her alone anyway? When Hero already knows that they can sneak in. <sighs> so yeah, we had a lot of bones to pick with this episode. Yeah, usually yeah, I'm same. like, this is two thirds of a good episode. This is like a third of a good episode. Yeah. I mean, it started pretty like I was like, okay, oh, I was, I was on board super for the, hyped the for four minutes. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was, I was cre- stoked for, for the like the first vibe. bit. Like, I was like, oh, this is gross. I like this. This is kind of like, you know, a, a gross kind of creepy horror. But then mm-hmm. it kind of... And then I saw, you know, the the dad having wounds. I was like, okay, he should have probably changed a shirt. But maybe it was just he got you attacked know, recently as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, you know, to make it obvious that that's fine. I might not have noticed if he just had a bandage on or something. Exactly. Like, it's, that's I'm, fine. I'm good with that part. And then, like, it just kind of went like, okay, uh, first part, uh, Kiyoshiro is useless. Uh, second part, Ruri is going to be a gecko, and then it was just, it's time to do some science. I'm glad that Kiyoshiro did try, like, it, he did put effort I in, guess. and then it just didn't work, mm-hmm. but it kind of made me sad that it didn't work, but then whenever Hero tries everything, like, I, I mean, I, I don't hate Hero as a character or anything, I just wish that he failed more. Like, it's nice to see characters fail, it's nice to see, we've, we've had Ruri fail a lot, we've had Kiyoshiro fail a lot. He failed twice in this episode after dying twice last week. I, I feel like we've seen mm-hmm. him fail enough. But we can't we have hero protagonist see... fail. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that he's failed a, a few times, but it's not, not n- it nothing that I can remember. Oh, why like, was Hero the one to point out that diamonds are made of carbon and therefore you can burn them? And by the way, you cannot burn diamonds. Not without getting them real. Yeah, old. not meaningfully. Mm. Like, <laughs> there are so many better things you can burn. Mm. Like the wood uh, yeah, on I'd... those wood pencils that you said you were going to get. Or because cold. you yeah, can't I... just buy pencil lead. I mean, we've established that Kyosha is very smart, so it's kind of weird that why don't we have him continually Ever say the smart thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he should be the one to... It's like that episode where... Uh, 
we had Hero realizing that Ice existed. Yep. Like, why is mm-hmm. it always Hero that has the uh, the, the game changing solution to the mod I mean, of the week? It's why right there can't in the it be name. Someone else. He is the yeah, hero protagonist. Hero. Yeah. But it's just, it's just kind of like it's boring whenever yeah. it's yes. hero. Like, you're right. I'm, I'm not gonna say this episode was, you know, a terrible, shocking, awful, horrible episode, but it was definitely boring. It was like, a flop. I, I, I don't. It was it was a flop, which is you know fine. I'm not gonna say the mm-hmm. thing that curses each episode, but it you know it it could have been worse. Yeah, it's you, they it can't all be winners, you know. You, and Ghost Game is still by far a lot better than Adventure Colon was. But you know, every now and it's, then you'll get a stinker. It, it's a lot better than a lot of Digimon, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but this episode, You're not like, wrong. yeah, th- this episode was just it wasn't bad. Like some. Season, some seasons have like bad episodes that are just bad. This episode was just it was watchable, but cut. you really have to turn your brain off. Yeah, it, it's which again, we're not the demographic for this show. Mm-hmm. They're not intending the audience to critically analyze every episode. They're not. They're not expecting you to really put much thought into each episode. So we do it so you I, don't, I don't have to. <laughs> Yeah, which which is kind of like the thing about the podcast is yes, we are overthinking each episode more than was ever possibly ever intended for the show. Mm-hmm. But I guess if you did turn your brain off, it it's fine. It's it's yeah, it's as you said, it's watchable. I just didn't have fun watching it. I was kind, of, but it did go quickly. Like it's not like I wasn't checking. Yeah, it was paced the time okay. Stamp. Mm-hmm. In some episodes of Colin, I was one hundred percent checking the timestamp. Oh and yeah, I was like, no, oh my gosh, 100%. we still have ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this was like that. They came to like the, you know they defeated Salamandermon and you know there was a conclusion. I'm like, oh, the episode finished. But then that's of course because we have more minutes at the end where it's just the analyzer, which still not fond of the analyzer mm-hmm. taking a few extra minutes away from me, or the, rather like a minute or so from each episode. Not big fan of that. Uh, so our listener Austin pointed out to us that the first Digimon they ever saw die was a Salamandramon. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't uh, remark on that at all. Yep. Oh yeah, from um Seals the Seals one episode. Yeah. But I guess I could hypothetically see uh, an argument for well, we don't really want to remind Gammon of that day. I'm just like, yeah, it's interesting that no one remarked on it at all, and I'll be honest, I had forgotten because that's kind of a while back. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. you know, it's curious that the kids didn't remember the first sentient being they watched die. Mm-hmm. I mean, but that would have also taken up time to point out. It would have, and also, the kids also don't seem to remember, you know, Bokomon? Or you know, they, they, uh, they would have they would have had Bokomon. time if they yeah. hadn't wasted an extra minute with the analyzer at the end. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of the... I like... Yeah. I preferred when we had, like, you know, a Digimon would show up and then Goromon would be like, oh, that's... that's uh, here's, Salamander like, Mon. a five-second tops blurb about this Digimon, rather than, you know, here's, like, 45 seconds to a minute on, you know, just everyone reacting yep yeah yep that guy sure existed and the l for leviathan or the the l for uh l corp is the l of leviathan <gasps> yeah that was still funny about atmon how they're all like oh <laughs> what could it be mm-hmm. what could he possibly be it's a mystery <laughs> it's very cute i'm like oh you oh my little my little angels bless your hearts <laughs> good old haru any other lowlights? I think that covered all of ours. Yeah. It's fine as yeah, long so, as you uh, don't think at all about it. Which is usually what I say, but I'm like, yep. I didn't even think. And I'm just like, I'm, yeah, it, it, I was bored, but not like, it wasn't check the timestamp every 30 seconds bored. It was just like, okay, there's not much that really happened here. You just have to be Let's move exasperated on, sort of at all of the characters and then... As ever, Rui had just zero agency or meaningful impact with, you know, interaction with the story beyond being the victim. Oh, I mean, it was cute when she, like, woke up and she was like, oh, Angoramon, cuddles. That was that was kind of cute. Sure. I just, you know, at least Kiyoshiro got to have invented a thing or whatever. Yeah, like, Kiyoshiro got <clears throat> to matter, and I wish that Rui mattered in mm-hmm. more episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, our uh, favorite character, I'm picking Kiyoshiro because I felt so sorry for him because he kept on trying to oh, no. to save the day. A pity and favorite didn't. character. 
Yeah, I, I chose him out of pity, uh, and also because otherwise it would be an abstract concept, and that's that's not my thing. Uh, Chloe, who is your favorite? So I think her name was Minami, uh, the girl who got uh, lizarded. Uh, Nanami. Nanami, that's yeah, what it was. N- n- Nanami. Uh, yeah, the girl who got lizarded at the beginning of the episode. Oh, good, you I chose a ta- character. I thought you were going to be like, oh, Nanami's dad's armband or something. <laughs> nah, nah. It's bandage. Nah, Nanami. Nanami was fine. I liked that's her getting body horrored. I liked, um, I don't know. She kind of just kind of summed up the episode. Like, yep, lizard, and then later, not lizard. Yeah, that, that's fair. In my best moments, <laughs> I too am either lizard or not lizard. Exactly. Truly, I she's actually the, mo- every, you know, the, the everyman. Actually, I think um, most things are either lizard or not lizard, now I think about it. You know, I will say, mm-hmm. my friend my friend, the redneck Tom Mary would be remiss if I didn't tell everyone that lizards move fast. They don't move slow. This is true. I love lizards. They're very good. Um, I'm I'm not sure if these are like a specific type of gecko, but in I think it's Indonesia, the geckos say gecko, and it's really adorable. <laughs> Even nice. when it wakes you up at three in the morning, they just go gecko, and like <laughs> oh, it just it just brings me such delight whenever I hear <laughs> an Indonesian gecko because yeah, it goes gecko, and I'm like ah, nice. oh, I love you. Oh, That's so excellent. cute. It is. You should uh, link Quinn, to who's a clip? your favorite? I, I will try to find the clip so I can link it. Otherwise, <sighs> it's just me crazily going, ah, there's a gecko that says its name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quinn, favorite character? So I initially wrote down Hero as just process of elimination, the only character who wasn't blatantly incompetent for the sake of the plot. But no, no, it's the gecko from that scene. The actual gecko. The uh... Just the gecko. Okay. That That is actually completely reasonable. Yeah, the gecko was adorable. It's, not, it's well, at least okay, not yeah. an abstract concept. It mm-hmm. was a, it's a, a living It's, it's a being. step up from abstract concept. It's yeah. background yeah. character. And and this yeah. episode was a step up from, from some of the worst we've seen this. Yeah. My, that, my that brain almost true. said this semester. You know? This semester. <laughs> Me too, This semester of TV. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, I get it. Uh, so, rating... Uh, I yeah, I'm, I wasn't a big fan of this episode. Uh, I gave it a two, mm. which is actually one of my lower ratings because mm-hmm. apparently I just gave a bunch of episodes three and any and even five. bigger and bunch five. of episodes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, my lowest episodes are like twos and one one point five. So yeah, this mm. is going to be a two. I it was fine. It's not like it's not the worst, but it, yeah, it's definitely definitely not the best. Chloe, what was your rating? I also went for a two. It was just a, a two kind of episode. It started fine, but it got pretty bad relatively quickly. Yeah, and uh, and Quinn. I went back and forth between a one point five and a two, and uh, despite. All oh, my fetching this episode, uh, I have to say I've, I've actually found that I enjoyed it a little more than I initially thought, and I'll give it a two. Cool. It was a so, very uh, two episode. Mm-hmm. It was a very two episode. I think we're in agreement there. So that means that this episode got a six out of 15, which means that it's actually ranked at the very bottom of our ranking. Interesting. Because yeah. apparently we've never... I guess that that's that's the first time that we've all agreed an episode is like yeah we've all had one point fives here and there but I don't think we've all all had a one point five yeah which means that this episode is the lowest in our overall ranking hmm. in terms of my own personal ranking it's in thirty second place because as I mentioned I apparently have never given anything I've I've not given many low scores so thirty <laughs> second place. And uh, Chloe, where are we putting it in your ranking? Uh, actually, in the same spot, but I noticed a thing, and I need to request a, a swap around. Um, oh yeah. I think in retrospect, and also I think maybe something just got messed up along the way because I gave episode twenty-five, Crimson Banquet, a two point five, and yet it is currently under episode six, The Cursed Song, which I gave a two. So I'd like to swap those around, and then I'm going to put it in between those two. So. It's going to be in also 32nd position uh, under Crimson Banquet above the Cursed Song. Yeah. It is possible that I could have also messed that up, so a whole bunch of things might could be. have happened. Because yeah. sometimes I might have said, okay, this goes in this place, and then I've just moved the wrong one. Yeah. I try not to do that. I do try to check. Well, either way, hopefully this is... will set the, uh, the, the canonical record straight. 
Yeah. And Quinn, where are we putting this one in? I, I didn't mean to rhyme just there, but I did. Putting mine, no worries, in uh, 30th place, which, let me look at my list here, uh, is also, I believe, right under Crimson Banquet for me. Uh, and above uh, Zashke Warashi. Yep, th- th- that that's where thirtieth is on my. So that's that slides in there. That's cool. And uh, yeah, do we have any miscellaneous thoughts of things we didn't mention for this episode so far? Um, I mean, we basically already yeah. mentioned it, but uh, like Hero or Kyoshiro or whoever it was made a, a weird point of pointing out like, well, I mean, if you can if you can find wooden pencils in this day and age, but it's like. I mean, you know, you could just go out and like buy graphite for pencils, you know, right? You don't, you don't have to. I, I have give a box old in my pencil. house. I don't think I have. I might have a, like two pencils in the house, but yeah. I, and that's fair, but you know I what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sure you can still get pencils. But like, you know, artists yes, exist. He can mm-hmm. also burn the wood. That is a very good point. Episode. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And also, he's made out of fire, so that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Guy made a fire knows very little about fire. Like, what things a fire can burn? Well, to be fair, uh, I'm made out of skin, and I don't know much about what skin does. That's true. And look, see, Quinn, you just don't understand. The Digimon Digimons the, hi- the fire so hard that it becomes super fire that can burn diamonds. I mean, but yeah, probably. I guess. I guess. Okie dokie, so now that we're done discussing, let's move on to Postmon Pat pondering and predictions. So first up for Postmon Pat, we have Nathan, who says to hear them out, Hero's dad is in the digital world or on a farm, but that is not the point. What if Black Tailmon is fused with Hero's mum, not his dad? That'd be haunting. Ooh. And the Black Digimon have nothing to do with them, and, and that is why Black Tailmon does not talk directly to Hero. Also, after <laughs> watching the first episode, what if the dim in the Vital Bracelet was Black Tailmon's dim? I think it was meant to be Gammon's, but I guess it could have been because Black Tailmon did show up. Also, if Hero's mom fused with a Digimon, I, it's just a little too Ava. <laughs> yeah, that is very Ava. Get like, the Black that is... Tailmon. Yeah, everything is Ava, especially that. (laughs) Mm. Next, we have Andrew who says that episode 33 was okay-ish, but as we've mentioned, the episodes kind of blend together. And says that uh, they're curious as to why Piximon hangs around. It seems kind of odd, and that makes sense. Like, uh, Piximon kind of kidnapped them, was kind of creepy. And then did promise to just keep coming back and trying to hurt them occasionally. Yeah, so that is haunting. That, that's it's a good kind point. of it terrible, kind of and we don't yeah. address it at all in the episode. Yeah, it gets like, oh, well, I guess they're hanging out now, and then also more or less lead to Kyosha almost dying. They, so they that's, suggest that's cool. that it, like, oh, hey, it's just him again. Like, he's done this, you know, four or five times. They're kind of mm. just making fun of Kyoshiro for almost dying. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I was I, I originally found Jellymon, you know, kind of delightful as a chaos elemental, but really she's just kind of terrible at this point. Yeah, yeah. she shouldn't be more protective of Kyoshiro. She's That's like, what I was saying last like... week, but y'all were like, nah, it's on brand for her. She's immature. Uh, I mean, Come it on. was yep, on I brand, mean, but I agree that by this I just, point I'm... I would have liked more growth. Alright. Yeah, I wish it wasn't the case that it was on brand. Anyway, uh, next we have Angel Squeaks, who says they're surprised that we didn't see a return of Kyoshiro's charms from his introduction episode. That is a good point. Yeah. Like, they're saying how uh, you'd think that if he thought he was haunted by ghosts, he'd react kind of similarly yeah. to when he saw Jellymon. Mm-hmm. That is, I didn't even think, That's a very good point. Honest. Yeah. That, yep. that is an extremely good point. Well, I maybe guess he's moved away from the talismans and... now that he's got Jellymon there to protect him or something. Yeah. Although I think that's probably also not the case, and we've seen that disproven as well, but I can't remember now. Uh, I, we haven't mentioned his bandages in like 25 episodes. I want to know what's under them. I really will be very, very disappointed if they don't do something with that before the end of the series. Mm. Uh, Let a bandage Digimon you... possess his bandages. Oh my god, Horrifi- mummy run. Horrifying. Horrifying. No, I just, I really, that that's horrifying. Angel Squeak says that they think that this might be proof, along with the MRI, that he genuinely wasn't sure what was wrong with him, and that makes Ruri, as you probably imagine it, pretty unhelpful. They think that she was probably operating on the logic that this is being brought on by anxiety or paranoia, so she needed to make him think he should worry less about it. And to make it go away, because it's probably all in his head. 
but it isn't super helpful reaction to paranoia. So yeah, that, that, yeah, that is a good point. Or legitimate like, medical problems. Yeah, like you, you should. I get the point. Like you should try to not freak someone out who might be making something worse because they're anxious about it. But so I, I, I feel I like you recommend meditation, results. not your problem isn't real. Yeah, but you shouldn't dismiss something, especially like a medical thing. Like medical things are. My G went and had an MRI scary. for this. He's clearly taking it seriously. Like, I mean, we, the brain can do some really weird things. Like, there's this case of this woman who thought she was hearing voices and the voices were telling her to go to a hospital and get checked out because she had something wrong with her. And then it kind of freaked her out and she was like, okay, I'm going crazy. And then she because she was hearing voices. But it turns out she actually had a brain tumor and the... Uh, and she got it removed, obviously, and then the voices said, we're glad to have helped you, goodbye. But it's more or less it was just her brain telling her there was something to get to instead of get checked out. So the brain can do, like, just really oh, yeah. I mean, amazing there. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The brain is incredible, and we don't know what the brain can do, is it's my whack. point there. So next we have Lazy Croconaw, who says that the episode was quite good. Didn't expect Hero dying twice, but at least it was revived. And they don't have much to say because they felt the discussion was covered f- their feelings pretty well. So good job on there. So yeah, we got a congratulated Ooh. on our discussion. So that, that's it. good. Uh, they say about the analyzer segment, they think that they did it just because they couldn't feasibly put in the episode because Angoramon couldn't be in the fight. And once it is over, kind of pointless. And they don't think it'll be a recurring thing, but maybe they're just jinxing, jinxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had Angoramon yeah. in the fight this time and we still got it. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, so I hope you haven't jinxed it, but I think we, ha- we will I be think getting it. Be I think they're going to be doing it. Yeah, it kind of seems like they've got a little splash screen for it before it starts. I think it's going to be a, yeah. if I, not permanent it's fixture we- for the remainder, at least for I a while. I think they're trying still. to compromise on, on having a lower budget, if I'm being honest. And, you know, I guess that's better than dragging clip art. Yeah, that that yeah, is true, but it feels weird to put something, to like introduce something like that in episode 33. Which is kind of what makes me think that it's a, a budget thing rather than a we definitely yeah. think this is a good idea thing. Yeah, that that is true because it's yeah it's not really and like they don't really animate much in mm-hmm. it. It's kind of like a standard static screen. Mm-hmm. Next, we have Narumi who says that uh, Kyoshi is the character that believes in spirits and is scared about everything. So everyone sort of ignoring what was going on with him didn't really bother them. They liked the episode a lot, but the ending was weird. Their biggest complaint about this part of the show is that they're just waiting for when Thetis Mon will appear again, because she only appeared once in her debut episode, and Canon Weissmon already appeared five times. They're sick with the White Dragon. Well, at least we didn't get Canon Weissmon this time. Like, True. I do appreciate yeah. that we haven't had any unnecessary perfect evolutions that when they just could have solved it with Adult. But then again, maybe the battles would have been quicker if they got to perfect, because they've got two perfects against an armor-level Digimon. I just still can't believe how far in we are, and I still don't know what the plot is. I still, yeah, I mean, I am i don't think there is, like, a big plot. I think the there's a sort of mini-plot of, like, where's Hero's dad? And that's kind of, like, the overarching plot. I don't think it's going to be something, like, there is a big bad, necessarily. It is more, like... There's some, I wish there's, I there's felt like Hero with... cared about trying to find his dad. Yeah, he seems pretty nonchalant about the whole like, thing. Hero's yeah, dad like, is yeah, definitely dad. dead. Like, yeah. just super 100% his dead. His dad is playing the ghost game and you can't convince me otherwise. Oh, no. Yeah, Hero's just watching his dad's old home movies and pretending they're Zoom calls. <sighs> oh, that's sad. That's that's really that's really sad. Let, let, let's move on. That was really sad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lastly, well, we'll just ignore that part. Uh, we've got KG who says that when Savigmon first turned up and said you'll ne- you'll leave again, they actually thought that it was Koemon had died and evolved in the afterlife, gave them similar vibes. Plus, you know, both monkeys. I actually thought that this was Koemon when he first showed up. I was like, because we saw like his leg, and I was like, ah, oh, it's Koemon, but it it wasn't. It was Sepikmon. I thought it'd be like Koemon's looking for the grandma who may or may not have died. The grandma so, oh, that would have been so upstate. good. Yeah. So that would have been nice. Like, I would have appreciated that. This but series no, it, keeps that wasn't flirting with being about death. Yeah. Well, last episode was just straight up about death. It was. And I mean, like, this series keeps flirting with really, you know, talking about death in a, in a meaningful way with, you know, the, the major characters. And then kind of avoiding doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And then lastly, they finish up to say, anyway, they enjoyed this one overall. Alternate episode title, why we definitely should have killed Picklemon. And yeah, we definitely, definitely. Yeah. God, I hate him. <laughs> like, why didn't we just, like, I do wish that the, the kids were why kind of like, Why didn't Jellymon just immediately ice Picklemon? I know. Like, even if you're going like, to make fun just- of him, like, like she did at least deal with the problem yeah at the very like, least I mean, he knocked the- hero unconscious that shouldn't just you know go unpunished i mean look like picklemon is a perfect level digimon so originally like it was kind of reasonable for them not to defeat it because it was a perfect level digimon but now they have two perfect level digimons there's no excuse they haven't just beaten him up yep mm-hmm. and anyway so that's it for go Postmon make Pat's ty sword. stand on a river or something yeah and go in a boat and have like a moment with himself. I don't know. So, what were our, what are our thoughts about us, the series so far? Um, we kind of already mentioned. Yeah, it, we, but we sort of did that already by please accident. Please don't keep wasting a minute at the end of each episode with the extra long Digimon feature thing. Please don't. Yeah, I I think Even that we should definitely will. stop doing that. Yeah, I think the next one was one. Of yeah. Ones. So the plot just keeps kind of meandering and occasionally hints at a, a plot that looks pretty interesting but it makes the these monster of the week episodes just kind of feel like a, a disney world and a, a kingdom hearts where it, sometimes it's good but it sure doesn't matter to the the thing that you know the first third of the story was telling me i'm supposed to care about mm. I still love the episode with the little girl and the dolls, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was some super good filler, and I'm not saying, you know, as a person who's played a lot of Kingdom Hearts, I'm not saying I hate the Disney worlds, I'm just saying, you know, I miss Kingdom Hearts 1 back when the plot was integrated into that. <laughs> I feel like this has become a Kingdom Hearts rant session Shush. more than Digimon. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, making a metaphor. My understanding is that, like, most podcasts at some point do become a Kingdom Hearts Rant it's true, podcast. it's true. Mm. I've started learning a and little bit about the the madness that is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> There's so much, and I don't I've never played one, but I oh, just know either, that yeah. I just have I've absorbed so much knowledge about it. It's great. It's like I'm <laughs> it's like I'm assuming everybody that we talk to and Evangelion. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so next episode is episode thirty five, Werewolf. What are our predictions for next episode? Looks like a Ruri one. It does, so I'm looking forward to see how it ends up not being. Yeah. Hero can tell Ruri how to save the day. Yeah, go be a sacrifice and then, you know, I'll swoop in at just the right moment and save the day. Ugh, I I hope y'all are wrong. I hope it's I hope it's like a like I hope this is the Lamortmon episode, which is I hope so, Gormon's but I've also uh, we've said that like five times now. <laughs> um, it still should have been the vampire episode. Where mm-hmm. Guru like, that- feels like a strong possibility. Yeah, I guess if it, we're doing werewolves, yeah. So, so maybe, but I, I, st- I would, I really hope that it's at least a, even, even if it's not an evolution episode, I hope it's a, a Ruri episode. Like, I hope that we just have Ruri in this episode. Maybe that the others show up slightly, but I want this to be just a Ruri episode. Like, it's kind of painted. Yeah. Oh, me too. And also, she's revisiting her hometown. Why would the others just decide to come along too? Like, whenever someone goes to visit family in another state or something, do you bring your two random friends? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Okay, then. I guess I guess it's just me. Not never. Ne- not yeah. like Not like as a rule, but not never. Yeah. And, that, you know, is, if I am going fair. on a vacation, I probably want to go with at least, you know, one person, which nowadays might be Chloe, but historically has been, yeah, a friend or two, whatever. Oh, that's nice then. <laughs> and and now, now that I'm thinking, like, oh, no, I did do that in high school. Like, I, I did actually visit my friend's family with her in mm-hmm. Queensland once. Yeah. So, okay, just ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> we'll just go on to the outro and I'll just cry. Okie dokie, so thanks y'all for listening. You can join us next time for episode 35, but for now you can find us in other places by checking out the link dump for any sort of social media things that we have, such as sending us spam to lostintranslation on gmail.com or commenting on this episode on our website, which is lostintranslation.com, or of course on this episode on YouTube, so check that out. And of course, you can follow us at Translation on Twitter. We just got five thousand subs- uh, five thousand subscribers, five thousand followers. That's what they. I, I wish oh. everywhere just had the same measure of how many people are looking at a page and get so, notifications. So my to the advice page. is to just pick a word and use it because everyone knows what you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. 
For Twitter, it's followers. So we just got 5,000 followers on Twitter. So that's exciting. But if you have not followed yet and would like to be one of those, we can always go higher because there are more numbers than just 5,000 in the world. (laughs) Trust me, I've looked at maths. I have heard that. Yes, I I have heard that numbers exist like 5,001 and 5,002. Please don't make me prove it. Admit it, yeah. Admittedly, yes, I've never counted that high all on my own. So, yeah. No, never. No, never. Uh, so, you can also find us on Lost in Translation on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm at Digimon underscore hero on TikTok. And I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash translationmon. Digimon Survive is less than two weeks away. So, that's exciting. So, come join me for that because I'm excited because it looks like it's going to be good. There may or may not be death involved, which, as we know from the podcast, I'm a big fan of the characters dying, but also not a big fan of it. I'm very torn between that. Like, oh, I want I want stakes, but also I don't want emotions. Anyway. So, uh, so it's survive. Can... Is there going to be tree punching? I no, but it I'm... seems like there's a, you know, instead of you just have your one partner and it dies and gets reborn and yada, 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 there's some kind of permadeath mechanic involved where you hmm. have to get a new partner or something. Okay. I've never played a Digimon game. I was just wondering if it was going to no, be like a survival all different. game. All, since... the, all the Digimon games just... just are different. Uh, no, like, but they, technically yes. The uh the in this one you are kind of you're making like good choices or bad choices and your choices appear to determine what evolution your Digimon takes. So it's fable. A little bit. Yeah, so it's not it's not like in other Digimon games you can kind of choose which evolution you get. Like you'll just say, Okay, I have these stats so I have access to these evolutions and then you can pick one. This one I think it's just your choices determine what uh, what what your Digimon evolves into. So that that is an interesting concept. So yep, so that's exciting. We'll be obviously doing this, some streams and YouTube reviews and stuff like that. So check that out. And of course, you can chat with us about Survive and more in the Lost in Translation Mod Discord server. There's now a Survive channel that I created for the purpose of discussing Survive. So check that out if you are in the server. And of course, if you enjoy the podcast, please leave us... You're you're getting one? Yeah! Oh, yeah, I was thinking about it. I'll probably pick up a copy, yeah. Well, it's on, like, every console. Yeah. But but just I do enjoy a Switch. I do enjoy... I'm getting it on the Switch. Like, that feels like the best choice, because you can take it on the train, you can take it on a plane, I don't know. I don't know why I started singing that. So let's just move on from that. I mean, it was a good rhyme. (laughs) I don't know why I keep... That's that's like the third time I've rhymed, and I didn't even come into it thinking I was going to rhyme. I was just like, I feel merry today, I guess. I don't know. Let's move on before I break into song. I did it again! (laughs) I said on and and so I did okay. Anyway, if you enjoy the podcast because I don't always somehow. break into song somehow, <laughs> please leave us a review on Spotify, or Apple Podcast, or ever accepts reviews. And if I find it, I'll read it out. Yada yada yada. If I don't, let me know. And of course, you can donate to our Patreon with linked in description from as little as a dollar a month, and that gets you access to the Patreon only areas of our Discord server. But there are high levels more rewards, so check that out if you haven't already. And of course, thank you to the current supporters on Patreon, Stephen Reeves, who is Wildman64 on Archive Our Own, Kaidawashi Chisai, who can follow on Twitter at Chisai236, Neobu, who says you should follow Chisai on Twitter at Chisai236, Lisbeth, who is Lekmon on Tumblr, Nicholas, Sam, Emery from Gone All Hunting, a Hunter Hunter Rewatch podcast, Magnus, Lucas, Jason105, Patrick, Jason, Grey, Tanuki, Shelby, Digital Hazard, who is on Twitch at The Digital Hazard, Dedicated Gazi, Alamist, Michael, and Tropiamon. You can also make a one donation on PayPal, which can be found linked in the description. It's paypal.me slash edgemon. You can also donate to me on my coffee account, ko-fi.com slash edra. And thank you to Quinn and Chloe for joining me this week. What are y'all doing? Anything you want to plug or talk about? Not really. I'm taking next week off. It's going to be sick. Woo! Woo! So that's exciting. Yeah, so hopefully no, I'll no, be I'm very a, excited. Hopefully I'll be a very unstressed Chloe next week. That's exciting. I'm I'm very much here for a non-stressed everybody to be honest. Mm-hmm. And uh, as for me, I've just been like I I finally got around to watching Heartstopper uh, and I watched it all in like a day uh, and I cried the entire time. I don't know what that <laughs> it is. It's a good show. It's a uh, a show that's based on a graphic novel. It's very very queer friendly and it's mm-hmm. really nice and I cried a lot. So I've been watching a lot of queer things on Netflix. I've been watching Dead okay. End, uh, very 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 queer and then Heartstopper also 
it's so in- incredibly queer. So uh, I just watch queer things on on Netflix now. That's just I, that's just my life. Um, you I read guess. queer light novels. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah, very gay. That's good. I like that. And uh, yeah, so that was another week for the Lost in Translation One podcast. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening. And of course, we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.